Hey, what's going on, fam? It's your man, the W O O D. Thanks for subscribing to the Real to Real Network. R E E L number two. R E E L Network. Much respect, much love going out to YouTube, our partners. Keep on subscribing. Tell everybody. Tell them, the cats, the dogs, the frogs, the birds, the bees. Hey, tell everybody. The sharks, the whales, your mother, your cousin, your fifth cousin, eighth cousin. Tell everybody. Keep subscribing. Now look here. This is the positive thought for a positive quote for today. If you want peace of mind, you have the power to make that happen. This is called peace of mind. Each and every day you got to wake up and have positive thoughts in your mind. Each and every day you got to say, you know what, I'm going to make sure I have a good day. You cannot let outside obstacles and negative people rain on your parade. I want you guys to stay in Happyville as much as possible. A lot of times the stress that we bring on, that, that happens in our life, we bring on our dog on self. If you stop and think for a minute, look here. Breathe easy. A lot of the daily stress that we have, we bring it on our damn self. Such as your personal relationships. If you're in a relationship or say you got a friend and you're dating and you're seeing early on that all my fellas, I'm talking to the fellas now. If you're dating a young lady and you see early on that you're not getting anywhere with this young lady, you're treating her real good, you're being a total gentleman, but you're not getting anywhere with her. Maybe she's coming out of a bad relationship with somebody she's been with for a while, and she's really got her guards up, and you've been treating her real good. You know what I mean? You, you know, went out with her a number of times, but you see, for some reason, She's being kind of nasty towards you. She's bringing that negative baggage that she had from a last relationship on to what y'all got going on. And, uh, you, you know, maybe out, you went to dinner a couple times, took her out or whatever. You try, anytime you try to, maybe, maybe any time you try to show some type of affection towards her, she's kind of staying off, offish and kind of nasty towards you. Well, guess what, fellas? Cut that zero. You don't need it. All right? You ain't got time to be no Dr. Phil or no psychiatrist and try to help a scorn, a scorn woman heal. She has to heal her damn self. She's bringing unnecessary baggage from a past relationship and she's bringing it on to what y'all got going on. And you're treating her good. You're doing all the right things. You know what I mean? Being a total gentleman. And you've been going out with her you know, a, a few times, and she don't want to show no type of affection towards you, and you sitting there taking her out, showing her a good time, she's sitting there eating up all that food every time you take her out, you take her to a restaurant, she's getting the most expensive thing on the menu, right, she's inconsiderate, she's a selfish, selfish female, cut that zero, all right, again, fellas, I'm talking to my brothers out there, all my true boss figures. You out there make, you know, making moves, you're working your business, you're doing good. And again, you got a young lady you're pursuing. And again, maybe she's just coming out of a relationship with somebody else or whatever. But anyhow, you treating her good. You taking her out. And she want to just, you know, see like she just want to keep you in the, the platonic friend category. You ain't got time for that. Especially if you've been straight up with her and you told her you want more than a platonic friendship. Ain't no need of you keep wasting your time with it. You know, a woman gonna let you know, right? She gonna let you know. She gonna show you some type of affection, some type of some type of love. You know what I mean? She gonna let you know she wanna get with you the same way you trying to get with her. But always remember, fellas, put yourself right up here. You kings. All my bosses, boss to boss kings, you kings. I'm talking about my brothers that got it going on like me. You ain't got to deal with no crap from no woman. You ain't got to do it. All my brothers is out there, real boss figures, making good paper, making good money. They got careers, you got it going on. You ain't got to deal with no BS from no woman or nobody. Remember, you in that 5% that, that earning power in the world. 
And guess what? There's a whole lot more women than there is men. So you ain't got to tolerate no BS. Let her be a stank, funky. Let her keep that stank, funky ass attitude. You sitting there whining and dining her. It's all good, but she can't show you no type of affection. Come on, bro. You already know what time it is. Cut that zero. Get with a young lady that, that's going to, you know what I'm saying, show you some affection, show some appreciation for you whining and dining her, taking her to, showing her the finer things in life, for you being a, a gentleman and treating her good. You know what I'm saying? You sitting there treating her good from the heart, opening doors for her, taking her to the nice restaurants, spending that time, letting her know that you want more, and she keep talking about that dude that she was with for five or six years. Come on, bruh. She's stuck on stupid. So let her stay stuck on stupid by herself. Let her keep that funky attitude. Let her keep that psychotic, funky attitude. Leave her stank butt alone. Matter of fact, leave her stank ass alone. Move on, brother. You ain't got time for that. All right? So what you want to do is find somebody. Hold on a sec. What you want to do is find somebody that's really going to be digging you the same way you digging on them. You know, a lot of these women, sometimes they come out of bad relationships, and again, they bring that negative energy onto something new. You know what I mean? And a lot of times, you see why they by themselves, because they got a messed up attitude. They think, they, 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 expect, they expect brothers to kiss that ass. Let me tell you something. You ain't got to kiss nobody's ass, brothers. Again, you got your spiritual strong, your financial strong. You ain't got to do nothing but just be yourself. You pursue her. If she's not showing mutual interest and you're letting it be known that you want to be more than just a friend. Hey, look, if she keeps trying to talk about or oh, let it happen naturally and all that. But you notice she keeps saying let it happen naturally, but you still spending your money every time y'all go out. Now, if she truly just want to be your friend for now, she can spend her money sometime too. Oh, no, she don't want to do that. She wants you to constantly spend your money. She got that other dude that's coming through piping her down. Oh, that's right. That's how they do. You got a lot of women out here, they cry the blues about some ex-boyfriend, and they want you, Mr. Nice Guy, to take him out, show him a good time, right? But they got that other dude still coming through, probably that, that ex that they still off and on with, coming through piping her, ain't showing her no love, ain't taking her out at all, that's the dude she crazy about, the one that don't, the one that treat her like shit. I'm speaking facts here. So again, brothers, treat the ladies good. You're being straight up. You let her know that you want, you want, you know, want a date, have fun with her. If she's not giving you what you need, cut that zero. You do not have time for no female that want, want to constantly get wined and dined and don't want to show you no type of affection. Because there's a whole lot of women out there, they running games like they want a brother to, to, to take them out and all that. But they ain't trying to do, they ain't trying to give up nothing. It don't work like that. Everything is what? Give and take. I treat you good, you treat me good. All my boss figures know, you ain't got to deal with that, bro. Remember, for every brother that got himself, got, got the financial and the spiritual strong, it's 25 to 1 for every brother that got his shit in order. So I'm speaking to all my brothers today. Do not tolerate no BS from no broke ass, sour puss ass woman. Always want you spending your money all the time. Look here, screw her without the grease, straight up. Get somebody, get a true, true queen that's gonna come into your life and she's gonna value you as a, as a man. She's gonna value you, appreciate what you do for her. And sometimes she's going to reciprocate. She's going to treat you today. You know what, baby? You been treating me good. I'm going to treat you. She's going to be like that. She's going to be like, you know what? Look for that the first three dates. So you take her out three times. If she don't offer to pay for the tip, you need to cut her ass. If you take her out three times and she never even offer to pay for a tip, cut her ass. She's selfish. She ain't about nothing. I'm serious, brothers. I want y'all to listen to me. You ain't got time. You building up your businesses. You doing positive things. You ain't got time for no leech, broke-ass woman. 
All right? So I'm speaking to my brothers today. This is, this is positivity from the heart. I'm giving it to you straight. You know what I mean? Know who you are. Know what you're about. And do not get swayed just because she got a big butt to smile and she cute. There's a whole lot of them. There's plenty of fine-ass women out there. And guess what? There's, there's a, a, a beautiful sister that's going to be a team player that's going to be an A-S-S-E-T in your life. She's going to come with the spiritual and finances. She's going to bless you the same way you bless her as it's supposed to be. That's what you look for. All right? Look for that A-S-S-E-T. Look for the A-S-S-E-T. Look at Jay-Z. He got Beyonce. Hello. That's how you do it. You ain't got time for nobody that's going to, you don't bust your butt. You got all this, all this positive stuff going, spiritual and financial, and some leech woman come along. All she want to do is spend up all your money. Don't be no fool for these women, fellas. This is your big brother, the wood, talking to you. All right? Now, my true queens out there, I got nothing but love for y'all. Y'all keep on working with the brothers. Keep on being an A-S-S-E-T. Keep on building, building, building us, you know, keep on being right by our side, standing by us, and be a true partner that you are. My true queens, I hey, y'all already know. Y'all keep doing what y'all doing. But them tired-ass, stank-ass, broke-ass women, I ain't got nothing for you. And I don't want none of my brothers that got it going on to have anything for you either. You ain't got time for no leech ass woman that ain't bringing nothing to the table. All right? It's your man, the W-O-O-D. This is, this is a motivation 101. Motivation 101 for the day. Keep subscribing to the Real to Real Network. R-E-E-L, number two. R-E-E-L, network. Love you guys. And remember, hit the thanks button. And you like the content, like all the shows that I produce on my network. Me and my staff are eight. We appreciate you. Remember, send, send, hit the thanks button and uh, thumbs up. Hit the thanks button. Send the revenues directly to us. You can subscribe. Uh, you can you can uh, send us fifty, a hundred, a thousand dollars. It does cost to keep the network running. We appreciate that. Send the revenues directly to us. Should be a, a thumbs up, four spaces to the right. The thanks button. Hit that, and you can send the revenues directly to my network. Also, the company cash app is dollar sign. R, R, the number two R, clothing, C L O T H I N G. Again, the cash app is dollar sign, capital R, the number two R, clothing, C L O T H I N G. So your cash app, cash app, my company cash app, and send that money directly to me as well. All right, appreciate you. Keep buying the smell goods, buying the clothing line, all right, the shirts, the caps, the hats. Okay, company number is 240. 338-2005 Company email is real to real clothing at gmail.com R-E-E-L number 2 R-E-E-L clothing C-L-O-T-H C-L-O-T-H-I-N-G at gmail.com And the company cash app because you can send those revenues directly to us is dollar sign capital R the number 2 R clothing C-L-O-T-H-I-N-G Thank you Keep on tuning in Keep on telling everybody and fellas, don't be no fool for these leech-ass women. I'm out.